So small businesses, okay, this is why it's so hard. Basically what it comes down to it is that you're at a pretty gnarly disadvantage when you're coming into the federal market. And this is regardless of whether you're a commercial company coming in or whether you're a brand new entity just starting up trying to come into the federal space. Being a small business in the federal market is difficult because we're relationship based and you don't have any connections necessarily or any real true widespread connections. So inherently your road to profitability is going to be a little longer, right? It does make total sense as to why small businesses have a really hard time actually breaking into the market, just breaking into the market. But we are here to try to make that journey a little bit easier and to try to provide you the things that you need within the federal market in order to actually have a shot. Essentially, what you're able to do on Teaming Pro is we even the playing field, okay? Because we recognize the one biggest problem for a small business are connections. So now you can go connect with anyone in the federal market. They're all laid out there in front of you. There's a search engine now. That's what TeamingPro.com is for federal contractors. You're a search engine to go and find other companies within the federal market. Market. With that problem solved, now the idea is, okay, so what is it that you're going to want to do? So what are the strategies that as a small business you're going to want to implement to start to actually grow within the market? That's a really good question. What about some of the other things that you're going to need as a small business to make sure that you can operate properly within the market? So you might need other certifications. For small businesses, in order to really compete and you know to really make some headway within the federal contracting market, you at your core, you need to have not only all of your corporate stuff laid out, all your capabilities laid out, your capability statement is set up properly. You have all the things that you need to do in order to present yourself as a business ready to do business within the market. Not only do you need all of that, but you also then need the connections in order to execute. Okay, so you need opportunities, you know what you're going after. You need the connections in order to make those phone calls and send those emails that will get returned for you in order for you to execute on some of the things that you can actually go after within the federal space. That's how the whole thing works. So with all of that together, it's really, really, really easy to see why small businesses have such a hard time just traversing the waters of the federal space. And that's okay, because this is not the easiest industry. This is not an easy game to play. You can do what we're talking about. You can succeed. You can win within the federal market 100%. In fact, we've seen this over and over and over again. We have lots of really good examples of small businesses building themselves out, creating a subcontracting portfolio that creates their base of cash and revenue builds up their past performance, able to go and compete as a prime contractor. This has happened within our industry over and over and over and over again. Okay, so there's no real mystery as to how it happens. What the real challenge is, how do you make it happen? And that's where a whole lot of small businesses, a whole lot of new innovation, really good businesses with good solutions and good pricing really just get quite honestly killed off within the market because it takes too much time to find the right people in order to have the right conversations in order to start getting on some work or start getting some work share or to start getting some past performance or to do the things that you need to do as a small business, bringing in that revenue in order to grow and then even actually in order to just survive and then ultimately in order to grow.